I don't do all the early mornings. I don't do early mornings in the best of times. It's half five. We're just waiting for Tom. We're meeting Aaron. Steph's coming down later. We're doing a session on Ultra Place Farm Lake 7. We're there for 48 hours. Tom's after his first catfish. And we're just going to have a bit of a social. So, let's get this show on the road. R5 oh, ain't even really early, is it? It's early enough. In Tomo! Hello, mate! <laughs> it's nothing for you, you love a 5.30 start. Should we get on the road? Oh. Aaron? Sing me the song. Huh? Sing me the song. Let's go. Come on, boys. Any much longer? Oh, you need to punt that tire out. <laughs> No. Son, you got a pump. No, you ain't. Tom, you got a pump? <laughs> well, we've literally just got down to Orchard. I haven't even managed to get any rods out. Aaron, how long have you had your rods out for? 15 minutes. And you just got yourself a PB? 20 pounds. You got yourself a PB? Yeah, mate. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, boy. So it's not exactly what we had planned. Tom's had a little cat. I've now got one as well. Everyone's uh, sort of jumped on board and said you must film it. Thanks. First one for me on the urban uh, strawberry nutcracker. So, not the best bit of advertisement, but it catches fish. Big carp, please. Not, not tadpoles. So, we're down on session at Orchard Place Farm Lake 7. We've got Tom, who's after a cat, he has had one today, but it wasn't anything special. It was a bit of a kit and we chucked it straight back. We've got Aaron Nixon, who's, he's just Aaron. He's had a PB today of 20 pounds. So, uh, ching, ching, Aaron, ching, ching, ching. ching, ching. Steffi hasn't had anything as of yet. I've had a little catfish. So it's still early days. We're here on a 48 hour, apart from Aaron. Come on, on the Sorry to see you go, mate. <laughs> but yeah, tonight we're going to get a bit of barbecue on the go, have a bit of a social, see if a few fish come out, and uh, go from there. Nice little voice break at the end. Yeah, boy. Go from there. Tomboy. Good. <laughs> Just another little cat. Quickly get him slipped back. Only probably about eight, ten pound. First car for me for the session. Eighteen pound twelve. Oh, it ain't even a PB. Got wet foot. This one was caught on the urban baits, fully loaded, top with a white pop up. So hopefully many more to come. 
cat's been active. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll grab a few more calf out. Yeah, boy. So I just slipped that one back. This little tornado common ripped off. Another one for the fully loaded. We'll slip this one back and uh, get it right back out. Good to stay away from the cats for a little bit. Aaron's never held a fish so big. I'm gonna hold my fish, Aaron. No, you're all right. You need to lift <laughs> it. Hold my one later. You need to lift it up higher. Yeah. <laughs> sure. What's that wet? Heaviest of the day, is it? No. Don't know. I've got to go to sleep in this. What's that? <laughs> 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 Give me some water, please. <laughs> oh, it's a nice. big fish. Oh. Oh, big mate. A beautiful little, let's <clears throat> say little, ain't too little. 17 and a half pound mirror caught in the fully loaded can't complain really can't complain i had a few last night beating the lads that's how it's done we'll show them how it's done let's get a slip back so got a nice little 15 12 Best one of the trip so far for me personally. Just on a single Manila boy. Um, yeah. How many did you have last night? Had uh, three throughout the night. Little slimy slugs. Wiped the fucking lot of my lines out. But we move on to bigger and better ones. So yeah, we'll get her back. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Thanks for that. Just know you're going to get beat up, didn't you? Please be nice. <sighs> Another one in the bag. Doing my business. Happy with that. Caught on a double on the nutcracker. Doing the business. I'm happy. I am really happy. Always feels good when you come down with a group of lads and you're smashing it. Okay, let's, get some, uh, there, there. let's get this one back. What's up, Steph? Very wet. Fish got me wet. <laughs> I'm even a PB. What I wanna hear. Slimy slug. Yeah. It's not just the carp that like the old uh, strawberry nutcracker. No. <laughs> you like it too. Nah. <laughs> I hooked into a fish that unfortunately got snagged. So with permission from the bailiff, they said we can go and get the boat. But obviously, it was around the other side of the lake. Instead of pulling for a break, 
we had to go out and try and save this fish. How did you even fit that in? <laughs> Unfortunately, this didn't turn into the romantic rowing trip we was all thinking of. Moment, floating in a blue lagoon. We didn't manage to recover the fish, but we did manage to recover all of the line and the lead system. So hopefully this fish is not a trailer. I got 20 pound catfish on a big chunk of luncheon meat. Biggest one I've ever caught. But a little bit too slimy for my liking, I think. But we'll get her, get her back in. We'll go for a bigger one, I think. So it all went quiet for us. Well, for me, Steph's had a couple. I decided maybe it's time to go to Ziggs, ping them out within five minutes on dog biscuits, on a Zig, two cats, double take. Technically it was a triple take, but the other one didn't hook. But let's get these uh, slimy little sluggy things, tadpoles back. <laughs> Yay. Not really what I wanted. Another one on the zigs. That's four takes, three landed in less than 45 minutes. Not what I'm after, but uh, at least the zigs are working. Slip this one back. If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got the rap patrol. I got 99 problems, but a fish ain't one. Hit me. So it's the morning of the uh, last day. We're packing up this morning and leaving. Everyone's sort of starting to wake up. You got Steph. Just a awaken herself um oh good morning everybody god tom's alive oh dumb i got um all my free rods wiped out by a trailing catfish early hours of the morning um thought it was an absolute unit it just was obviously staying very very deep and just slow uh, slow plodding um, so I woke Steph up, told her to run me out of waders because it, 
this felt big. When I did eventually see it, I lifted up a stick, which followed on to about four different lines, which was also just trailing leads and hooks and everything else. So, yeah, a bit irritating, a bit annoying. Um, I believe the carp now started spawning, so we'll, um, we'll let them do uh, their thing, pack up, hit the road. I really fancy a fry up, to be honest, even though we had dominoes last night. Steph, go get a fry up. You don't mind? Because the carp's starting spawning. Let's go, let's, let's go get a fry. I'm, I've put the kettle on. I'll make you a tea. I think mean, we should get everything wrapped up. Oh, good boy, I do try. Good morning, Thomas. But yeah, we haven't actually done much filming in regards of filming, have we? No. But it is what it is. <sighs> I've got a wedgie. I'd like to run. Um... Bye, Steffi! You always confide in me, but I'm on the side here. Tell me, will you ever love me back?